Hi everyone, welcome to ProVisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and very often an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset, not only for you, but also for business owners. So, say goodbye to the never-ending revisions, and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed t-shirt brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and illustrations. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action, to give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of a t-shirt mockup. Casual style. I think this one is what we need. Great. Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. So, let's continue. This is how our t-shirt 3D mockup looks like with its default settings. Let's zoom it in a little. Just look at how detailed the fabric and seams are. They look incredible. Such attention to details is rare to find. Now let's add the design to the front part of the t-shirt. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. Let's add the branding to the mock-up. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. It's amazing how easy it is in ProVisual. Let's save our design. Now let's turn the 3D model and add the design to the back side of the t-shirt, clicking again on the Add Design button at the Design Layers panel. Here, we also place our design based on the UV map and the 3D model preview in the left window. Looks great. The design accurately follows the shape of the t-shirt. Really cool, saving our design. Now, I will show you how you can change the material our t-shirt is made of. Select the background tab on the design layers panel. Then, let's select the Materials tab to expand the huge gallery of various materials. Here in the Fabric section, you can select the fabric that your own client uses for their t-shirts. The melange cotton is exactly what we need, and it does have the amazing datalization too. Let's apply it. Let's make the fabric a little lighter in the material settings, and then we will reduce the size of the texture until we're happy with it. This is perfect. Now we need to change the color of this fabric. Let's do it. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually. Like this. Great. The color goes well with our design. 
Let's set up other parts of our t-shirt. Now let's copy the material from the outer side and apply it to the inner side. Now, in the material settings, let's make the fabric a little lighter and increase the size of the texture. Like this, our t-shirt will look better. Now let's move on to the collar element and add some color to the fabric that will go with our design. Selecting the background tab on the design layers panel, changing the color to red. Next, we will emphasize the depth of the texture and will slightly increase the texture size. Like this. We change the color on the collar stand the same way. Nice. Now the seams. Let's set the color to them. Let's select the tabs with the seams at the scene element panel and add color to them. Looks good. The client will be happy. Our 3D mock-up will look great at all the marketplaces. Okay, let's continue. Now I will show you how you can change the material of the design. Let's zoom in. Selecting the tab called Outer Side on the Scene Element panel. Now let's select the layer with the front part design. Now let's select another material in the materials gallery. We'll show our client how we can add personality to the design. I like this one. Now in the material settings, we will make the fabric lighter and we will change the texture size. Next, we'll rotate the material texture by 90 degrees. Next, let's work with the highlights. After that, we will add more volume to our design with a wonderful bevel feature. Amazing! Now let's set up the material of the design at the back of the t-shirt. I think we will use something extraordinary here. Shall impress our client. Selecting the design layer to activate it. Moving on to the materials gallery. Look at the leather tab. This time, we will use the cowhide brown. A very interesting material in my opinion. Now let's tweak it, reducing texture shadowing. Next, let's add more highlights and depth to the texture. Great, we've got the embroidery effect. Let's add more realism with the bevel feature. This design looks impressive. What an incredible result. Now we need a background. We have lots of pre-made background options in Pro Visual. We can choose a solid fill as the background. Or we can go for a gradient fill. Here we can select the colors. and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button you'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients.
you save your clients money by using ProVisual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media, or other online platforms. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating t-shirt design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.